Hey everybody, it's Xiao. Let's go over the post credits clip at the end of episode 4. Here it is. To start off, I just want to say that this is not a preview of events to come. It's actually a look into past events. If you take a look at the table, you can see all the items on the table that were there during the end sequence of episode 2. These little clips centered on the binders are basically coming together as the episodes go on. The story here is getting more complete as each part is added, <laughs> like the binders themselves. Second thing I want to mention is that the voice that's pleading to Jefferson does not belong to Max. It's actually Kate. Don't do this. Please. Don't do this. Not only does the voice sound more like Kate, at least to me it does, there's also paper scraps on the table which means that Jefferson is currently working on Kate's binder in this scene. Furthermore, you can see in Jefferson's reflection off the glass table that he's wearing a white shirt. At the end of episode 4, Jefferson is wearing a blue shirt, and I seriously doubt the man would take the time to change clothes before he conducts these photo shoots. Time is a sensitive matter in this situation after all. Okay, let's get on to some more meaty stuff. How could the voice belong to Kate? She was drugged after all. Well, that's simple. Kate woke up during the photo shoot. The image on the computer monitor shows Kate upright, eyes wide open and alert, with what looks like tears down her face. It's quite different from the other photos where she's obviously drugged. But wait, if Kate woke up, then why wasn't she killed like Rachel was? If it wasn't clear to you why Rachel was murdered, I'll explain now. Rachel woke up during the middle of her photo shoot with Jefferson. She wasn't supposed to. And she was pissed. Her awareness of the situation threatened the entire operation. If she were to report what transpired in that bunker to the authorities or other citizens of Arcadia Bay, then everybody involved in this little conspiracy would have been busted. So they killed her to cover up the truth. So why not kill Kate as well to cover up the truth? Well, they didn't have to. The answer lies in these two girls' public image. Kate didn't need to be eliminated because there was a video of her at the Vortex Club party making out with several male students. I'm assuming here, but it's possible that this video that was taken by accident was used as blackmail to keep Kate's mouth shut. Kate, unlike Rachel, had an upstanding reputation to keep, and it's clear that she cared deeply about that reputation. By the time the video leaked, the poor girl probably thought that there was nothing she can do or say to convince the public to believe her if she told them what really happened in that bunker. It fucking sucks. There could be more to this too. Jefferson did load that syringe with what seems like a hefty dose. It might have come off as a weird dream to Kate. I don't know what that large of a dose of GHB does to a person, or if there even was GHB in that syringe. It could have been something else entirely, so you can't even say for certain that Kate even remembers anything that happened in that bunker. The difference between Kate and Rachel is their public image. Rachel didn't care what people thought of her, and so she would have had no problems with busting Jefferson and everyone else involved. She's been known to hang out with multiple groups of people, so it wouldn't come as a drastic surprise that she found herself in a bit of trouble, and so I think that's why she died. Ain't that some shit. Kate, on the other hand, didn't have a reputation as a troublemaker. And so, if she were to go to the authorities or go to the public and tell the truth, what would have happened to her is exactly what happened to her. Nobody believed her and everybody just looked down on her as a promiscuous girl who's just been trying to hide that side of her for the longest time and just couldn't keep it up. Kate Marsh, she doth protest too much. Funny how that works, huh? Fucking sucks. Again, just some thoughts. <laughs>